Michaela Kessler. My Hamatsa name is Tayana Khola Gilis. My everyday name and name that I use to introduce myself is Mulidzas, and my English name is Curtis Wilson. I come from the Liquidot territory in Campbell River. My roots reach into the northern part of the Kwakwakiwak territory in a, a, called the Khwatmis and Ba'as, which is Blunden Harbor, and also down into Wewekam and Wewekai that make up the Liquidot territory. With the art show that we're doing right now, I'm the theme of, of my portion of the show is touching on all the different aspects and mediums that I work with. This piece signifies identity to me. It's got four faces and it shows that we are all similar at, at, in a lot of ways, but also different with the different colors in the eyes and opposite ends of, of the world. And so this piece has um, black, red, green and yellow acrylic paint. And yeah, I, I wanted this to represent identity and signify what the show is supposed to represent. Artwork is a, is a passion of mine, and in the work that I do with the Weaver Foundation, Nation, um, education is a big part of it, and it enables me to use the, the knowledge in, in artwork and culture to be able to bring that into schools. It's an opportunity for me to be able to give back to the kids and share my knowledge, and you know, this knowledge and talent that I have was given to me, and I'm hoping to pass that on to the next generation. My name is Richard Thomas from Nanaimo, Nanaimo. Lived there until 1965, and then uh, kind of moved away to the city uh, residential school. When I first moved to Vancouver, before I started with the petty crime, I was in a movie with Chief Dan George, it's called The Shadow of the Hawk. But after that experience of meeting him, uh, when I ended up in jail, I phoned him a few times to come in and give inspirational talks to the inmates. And he, he did, he come in several, several times a month to inspire all the native youth in the jail. And he inspired me and I kept up with the artwork and lo and behold today I'm, you know, I'm surviving pretty good on it. So I used to do a lot of, a lot of drawing right on my cell wall. Like we had eight by eight cells. And on my wall, it would be about four feet by six feet I could draw on. So I used to draw great big murals of uh, West Coast art on my wall, in my cell wall, once a week because they had come along and whitewash it. So next week I'd put up a different design. So 52 weeks of the year I used to have a different design on my wall. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny, but it was certainly a teaching ingredient for what I needed later in life because I was painting long before I was carving. And one day I just picked up a knife and put down a paintbrush and this is how far I've come in 42 years. Yeah. My style being self-taught is not like anybody else's. Like you go into an art gallery now and you'll be able to pick my work out right away because of the style I do, like that totem pole or even this plaque. Like how I do it is my style. Like, and I think the detail amount, how much detail I use in my work comes from the fact that I learned how to draw from pictures and so that there is just a picture to me in my head I see you know even before I started eh? to take a piece of wood and create an eagle out of it uh, it's a feeling that you can't describe you know it's not for the recognition or nothing I do it because I like doing it I do it because uh, it was the only way I had to survive you know and I life got easier and Art got, you know, to the point where I just do it because I love doing it now. My English name is Vince Smith. Uh, my, my Indian name right now is Hayoma In. 
which means he feeds 10 chiefs. I got that from my uncle, my late uncle, Jerry Jack from Moachet. I've had two other names given to me. The first name I was given to me when I was young, a young guy, uh, my, my dad's oldest sister. Uh, she was married to the Taiha with uh, Felix Michael uh, from the Nachatla tribe. Uh, she gave me the name Hainai uh, Koyak which means a thunderbird that holds a crystal that can see the past, present, and the future. So uh, a lot of my carvings, I, I've done a lot of uh, thunderbirds uh, and sometimes holding a crystal. Uh, my dad was from Nuchatlet and my mom was from Moachat, which was on the other end of Nootka Island, uh, Yukwat. She was Moachat, and, uh, but I grew up uh, as a little boy in Nuchatlet uh, till the age of six. And then I went to a residential school. And, uh, as a little boy, even before I went to school, I was so eager to learn everything because um, I missed my brothers and my sister a lot. They were in residential school. And when they came back home, I wanted them to teach me everything that they were learning in school. Uh, so when I was three years old or four years old, my brothers used to come back and they'd try to teach me how to draw. So uh, before I went to, to school, I was learning how to draw. And uh, that's how it all started from my older brothers, Gideon and Tom. They were the ones that were teaching me how to uh, do artwork. And I was always interested in artwork. Art, it makes me really forget everything in the world. And I concentrate on what I'm doing. And it makes me happy. Uh, I'm so spiritually happy inside. It makes me think of uh, the names that my, my family gave to me. Uh, that's mainly what I think about uh, the culture and, and uh, the lives of my my ancestors and I, that's what I think a lot about when I'm doing my artwork I think of them um, because this is a part of them that, that I create so I thank the creator every morning for for the gift that he gave me so I'm so happy about it I never forget to do that every morning and every night. And that's what the elders have taught me to do, to be thankful for what I've got.